Old houses tell a story. There's something about running your fingers down a banister that generations of people have held in their hands. It gives you a perspective on where you fit in this world. People preserve historic buildings for a variety of reasons. They care about the, the history. Maybe it's a family history. They care about their community. Neil and Judy Rosendahl have long been in love with historical homes, and they have worked together to restore several here in Utah. We like that they've got character in them already. They don't feel brand new. They've got chips and dings and the floors squeak and and I tell I used to tell my kids that's the house talking to us. You have to love what you're doing because it's not easy and it's physical. The next generation needs to learn about them and learn to love them or there won't be any. One of the couple's most recent projects is a special old home in Tokerville. One of the intriguing things about this house and there are several but one of them is the only brick home of that period. The Tokerville house had charm and character to it. Before we even did anything, to see the craftsmanship of the old pioneers with the limited resources has just been really touching to see. As the Rosendahls worked to restore this historic house, they relied on the expert guidance of the Utah Historical Society. I called the Historical Society of Utah and asked them a lot of questions. Asked them what we needed to do to preserve this home, to make it historically correct. We wanted to enhance it, not detract from it. Somebody will call and just say, you know, I just bought this old house. It's about 100 years old. I don't know what to do. We'll say, well, let's look it up and advise them whether we think it's eligible for a listing in the National Register. That's an important step because that opens the door for the ability to access our grants or our tax credits. The benefit of being on the historical register is that you can get a loan at a more reasonable rate than you can get at the bank. The other thing we provide is technical assistance. So we have an architect on, on our staff and he can offer a lot of really good technical advice to people about how you fix that crumbling stone wall or your adobe that's deteriorating or whatever it might be. The home in Tokerville needed extensive restoration, which took the Rosendahls 10 years to complete. It had to do all new electrical, all new plumbing, furnace, and you know, all the things to make a home comfortable. It just wasn't there, we had to do it. The hours that we spent in that home was time well spent. And I'd do it over again in a heartbeat to have that home be a beautiful part of the community. Though the Rosendahls experienced many challenges along the way, the Tokerville home turned out amazing, giving them and the town something to crow about. Having a historical house in your neighborhood gives the town a sense of pride, something they can look to for their history. That's the biggest benefit that we had not anticipated, was how satisfied you feel when you accomplish those hard kind of things. We hadn't been in town working on the house, oh, maybe a week or 10 days, and pretty soon people started stopping, walking up to the house, saying, oh my gosh, look how beautiful you, we hadn't even started. <laughs> yeah. We just cleaned up. Everybody say, we've always loved this house, but it hasn't looked so good, and, and they don't say that anymore. From Tokerville, I'm Matt George for the Utah League of Cities and Towns. <laughs>